السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اللہ مسلی وسلم علی محمد نبی المی و علیہ و صحبہ الف الف مرہ مائی ڈیئر رسپیکٹیڈ برادرس اینڈ آل دا ویورز اراؤنڈ دا ورلڈ ویلکم ٹو دس تسکیہ ورک شاپ وچ از بینگ ہیلڈ ان نیو یارک سٹی آن سنڈے مے تھرٹیتھ Uh, it's, a, it's a blessed moment and a blessed day for all of us to gather here uh, and to join together in, uh, in uh, exploring ourselves and exploring the options as to how we can improve ourselves uh, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my area of discussion will focus on the relation between the sheikh and the and the and the peer uh, and the student and the murid uh, in 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 arabic terms a sheikh is someone who is mentoring you in a spiritual world right so i'll be using the word sheikh and uh, and the and the murid is the disciple or the student of uh, uh, spirituality so these will the words will come in arabic language and i'll continue to use that way uh, sheikh and uh, murid Uh, the relation between Sheikh and Murid is a very unique one. It comes into existence not as a result of uh, biological activity, like uh, as a res- not as a result of the uh, uh, as a result of a biolo- being a biological father, uh, not as a n- nor does it come into existence as a result of any marital union, uh, but it comes uh, into existence uh, when you make a, pe- a pledge of allegiance to. Uh, to a very able and a, to a very perfect person among all other human beings uh, who is a sheikh and you make a pledge with him uh, that you are going to stay away from all sinful activities you are going to improve yourself you are going to be beneficial for the society and you are going to continue to strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you can uh, be successful in the world hereafter now uh, where does this field come into play like uh, what is the origin of this the origin comes from the Quran itself Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that uh, O people O believers uh, be with the people uh, uh, with the truthful people so this is the uh, this is the order and ordained from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are ordered to be with with the truthful people Now, if the, truth, if the truthful people did not exist in this time, then this Quran's order would be invalid, and this is impossible. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot order something which, will not be, which cannot be acted upon. So th- th- that makes sense that uh, the truthful people will always remain there. Uh, now, it's our duty to find the truthful people among us. Uh, you know, you may have heard many times that there are fake, there are fake sheikhs, right? Uh, there are phony sheikhs and fa- fake people who are pretending themselves as sheikh, but they are uh, in the in the guise of sheikh. They are uh, they are uh, they are uh, uh, confusing people and they are misleading people. So that's our duty to find out the truthful and the real sheikh and shuyukh among in our society. So what happens is that when you have decided that you have found the right sheikh, you, 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 get, you are also allowed to make istikhara to, to confirm yourself that you are going to benefit from that particular sheikh. Once you have a full, uh, full sense of commitment and full uh, confidence that you are going to benefit from such and such person in the spiritual world, then you give 100% of yourself to that sheikh. You go to him, you make pledge with him, uh, you Uh, and you know make certain promises with him and you try to abide by those promises forever uh, we are all humans if at any time those promises are broken you re- you come back to sheikh and inform him again that this is what happened i made a mistake and i confess in front of you and i just want to make a toba again uh, be very f- frank and be very upfront with your sheikh there is nothing to hide from your sheikh right because he is your mentor and uh, m- this mentorship is something in which you have to tell your weaknesses to your sheikh if you keep hiding yourself or if you keep hiding your weaknesses then you're not going to benefit from uh, from uh, from from your sheikh all right so this is very important that the relationship should thrive in a very healthy environment that environment is created by by your thoughts uh, you have to have a full and 
uh, hundred percent confidence on your sheikh that he is the only one who can improve you in the spiritual world. Uh, the other, uh, other, the uh, uh, other feeling that you should have for your sheikh is the feeling of love, that you should have unconditional, unconditional love for him, uh, that he is the one who is taking care of me, so I should be really loving him uh, unconditionally. There is no condition attached to that. Uh, the, uh, the third one is uh, full trust in him, that once you have decided that you are going to benefit from a certain sheikh, you have to have a full trust on him. Whether there is something which, is, which he is committing, which is against, against the norms of the society, you have to admit that sheikh is doing something which I may not be able to understand, but he is right in his own right. He is right. He is doing right. Okay, this is how uh, our trust builds up. Sometimes, sometimes we are not able to understand the deep meanings of uh, or the wisdom behind the certain things that uh, Shuyuk are performing in front of us, but they carry the deep meanings and we will find them out later on. But right at that moment, we should not start doubting our Shuyuk, Mashaikh, right? If that happens, then we undermine our own efforts and we undermine our trust on the Sheikh and then it doesn't benefit you. That is why, uh, you know, our elders and mashayikh have advised even to that extent that if there is a, if there is a kamil sheikh, if there is a perfect sheikh in your life and he tells you to dip your musalla in a, in a bucket of uh, wine or liquor or alcohol and then pray on that musalla, just pray. The condition is that that sheikh should be a kamil sheikh, that sheikh should be a perfect sheikh among all of us, right, who has really attained the level of perfection and he is really a friend of Allah, he is really a wali, wali Allah. That is up to you, that you have to find that out. If that sheikh is telling you something so much out of the way, just do it. So that is the level of trust we have to show to the Shaykh, then the faz, then the connection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes to you. Then there is another uh, thing that our uh, you know, young generation or any uh, age can face with the, with the shuyukh is uh, in the contemporary world, there are more than one uh, wali Allah's present in the world and people get confused with the fact that uh, you know, that other personality has more has more charm has more meanings is more influential or he looks more uh, effective in certain things yes it may be true but you have to understand that if you have made a pledge with one certain person or sheikh all the fairs will come to you from that particular person you keep uh, you keep shopping around to other places but you're not going to uh, get all the benefits from other people because you're not connected in in their lineage of uh, spirituality which is called silsila so if once you have uh, you have uh, been given admission in a certain school you are going to get a degree from that school you're not going to uh, you're going, not going to get a degree from another school no matter how much you like that school you uh, it does not mean that we should start uh, undermining or uh, disparaging other people or other shuyukh we have to give respect and utmost, ut utmost respect to all of our shuyukh or mashaykh in the world but the most love and the most um, sort of uh, the, the, the thought in our mind that the most beneficial for me is my sheikh should come from our sheikh. Uh, that in, after having said that, uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, uh, sh uh, once you have selected the sheikh, now it's up to us that how we uh, behave with sheikh. Uh, you know, th there's a very common uh, uh, paradigm and very common advice given to all of us that we have to uh, keep informing our sheikh what we what is happening in our lives we just don't disappear from the from the from the presence of shuyukh what happens is that sometimes we are we just get too busy in the worldly affairs we we take advice from our shuyukh and then we just disappear uh, we may not be able to you know produce the outcome or inform the sheikh that this is what's happening in our life and then all the things start to fall apart and you don't get the real benefit of uh, th this pledge. Uh, 
what we call in uh, Urdu is ittila and ittiba, that you are always informing your sheikh how much, how much ittiba, how much following you are doing, how much uh, uh, activities you are doing in the right way, or if you are not able to perform any activities, don't be shy of that fact, stay connected with sheikh, come to his presence, come to his company and inform him that I am not able to follow any of the commands that you have told me, sheikh tell me what should I do. So that connection should remain there no matter how busy we are. You know, whatever thing we give uh, importance to, we get attached to that and we, 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 we re-benefit from that. If, we, if the things fall by our wayside and we don't really give attention or importance to a certain thing, uh, then those things don't benefit us. So it's very important that we stay connected with, sh with our sheikh. Also, it's very important that uh, by connecting, we have, to, uh, we have to find out that what our shuyukh likes, what our sheikh likes. You know, if he likes a certain uh, gift or something that you can give him, just bring that gift. You know, uh, the gift brings love between you and your sheikh, right? He is giving you so much right of your, of his time of his devotion of his he is giving you the best gift of the world right the the connection to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what we can do is we can bring him some nice gifts you know that way we we it's a two way traffic the uh, and this is a sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we exchange gifts among ourselves to improve and enhance the love and connection among us so these are other things that we have to uh, keep in mind and this is sincerely very highly needed. This is the need of the time to get connected with the, with the sheikh of, of our time. And especially, uh, we are so lucky and fortunate uh, that I can't thank enough to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for just one thing alone, that our sheikh is uh, not only a spiritual sheikh, he is a mufti, he is an alim, so, and he is a wise person in his himself he carries a lot, lot of wisdom in himself which i have seen over years so that wisdom is not everybody's uh, is not everybody's character or trait some people, I'm not undermining anybody, but some people just don't lack that, uh, don't have that much wisdom or that much ilm. MashaAllah, our Sheikh Allah Pak has really given us, like as a, in one package, there's so much that we can benefit from and we can really uh, get connected to Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala more easily. That if we have any religious, uh, uh, religious question to ask, he is right there to guide us. If we have any spiritual question, he is there to guide us if he has any if we have any um uh, if we have any religious uh, issue that uh, needs to be solved, he has, he carries so much wisdom that he guides you through that also. So it's like uh, one package in which you can learn so much and you can improve your lives so much. We have to really take care of it. This is a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us and for the people of America that they should recognize the talent and the abilities that he has sent in just one person alone, mashallah. So this is something we have to, we have to uh, take care of. We cannot just ignore this fact. We cannot ignore our uh, spiritual corner. We have to bring it in our mainstream lives and only then we can improve our lives. So this was a small talk I wanted to share with you. Thank you very much, uh, Ram TV, for giving me this opportunity to connect with you and connect with the world and get everybody on board with this Tazkiyah workshop. Thank you very much.